When you hear the front office and, and Terry Francona talk, they're excited because uh, of the young guys that this team has. Uh, let's take a look at just how young. Uh, let's redefine young here. And this is from <laughs> Mandy Bell, the outstanding beat reporter uh, for the Indians. So uh, the Guardians average uh, under 27 years of age, 26 years, 253 dates. That is the fifth youngest opening day roster not in baseball but in the last 30 years so um bobby to say the team is young might be an understatement and um i think the thing is is there's going to be ups and downs because a lot of these guys are experiencing the big league for the first time well i don't believe that any of us you me a professional athlete uh, to anyone out there watching their growth chart uh, as a professional or as a person, their growth chart went straight up. <laughs> there were peaks and valleys and, and bumps and bruises along the way. And uh, certainly in Major League Baseball, that's the case. So we're gonna see some bumps and bruises and we have the last couple of years, um, but you start to see a young team grow and develop right before your eyes. And the thing that I find, David, the, the, the most cool part of this is these guys spent some time together in the minor leagues. And Sandy Alomar and Carlos and those guys will tell you one of the beauties of that 90s club is that there were a lot of guys who came up together, the Charlie Naggies, et cetera, that came up together and then they experienced winning at the big leagues together. So going from riding the buses in minor league towns to winning at the big league level, there's something incredibly special about that storyline in the game of baseball. Our guys will get comfortable. They'll grow and develop as the season goes on. It was the reason we didn't go after what I guess you could label the tier two free agent. Chris Antonetti had indicated uh, at spring training in a press conference that we had identified a certain group of players that we were going to focus on to see if we can make trades or sign them as a free agent. But we weren't gonna dip below that select group of people because we didn't wanna put any roadblocks in the way of our young talent who we believe in. And we spent an awful lot of money, time and resources, state-of-the-art facilities all around the world. Um, you know, we have seven campuses that have state-of-the-art facilities from the Dominican, our four minor league teams, the uh, progressive field, of course, uh, uh, out in Goodyear um, at our 12 month uh, training complex. You know, it's an opportunity for us to invest in the people we believe in. How do you know if a young player like a Yu Chang, Owen Miller, Ernie Clement, Andres Jimenez, who's only 23, 24 years old, you know, Emmanuel Classe, uh, Stephen Kwan, Mercado, et cetera, et cetera. How do you know they can't be an impact player in the big leagues unless you play them? And uh, we believe in them.